Oh, hey, uh, you caught me while I was just going to head outside for a minute. Um, let me go outside and uh, then I'll be back with the lesson. Uh, but I created this tool for to make sure that I was social distancing. Uh, I'll be right back. All right. Hello all. So I hope your first week of digital learning went well. I know there were some issues going on with uh, especially Delta Math or Khan Academy going through some problems that might have been a little bit more difficult. The whole point of those assignments was to review uh, previous material uh, so that you weren't forgetting it. If you were spending hours on these assignments, you uh, hopefully have reached out to me and I've told you, please, if you are stuck on something, skip over it and uh, take a picture of it on your computer or your phone and share it with me or submit it on Google Classroom and I can hopefully explain it. Or just move on. Uh, some of the assignments sometimes default to higher level math, such as Algebra 2 or Pre-Calc, uh, when in reality it was meant to just be a review. But this week we are doing our first performance task of this whole digital learning process. And I'm hoping that it's a little bit easier. It's called the Triangle Pilot. You are tasked in creating a picture using only triangles. Triangle, right triangles, some have to be special right triangles, and some are just using the Pythagorean theorem. The whole goal is to create a picture uh, and practice the Pythagorean theorem on your own and be a little creative with it. We've provided an example of it, but I thought I would explain a little bit of how you do it. So in the triangle pileup, worksheet, you have a picture of a triangle man. And there's a whole bunch of triangles and there's some problems that you have to do. You have to label some of the sides that you don't know. And that is what you have to create later on this week. So how do you do that? How do you solve? So forgive my bad drawing, but you have a bunch of different triangles that are going to be connected. Now, in this case, in this red triangle, I have two sides. Well, I can use these two sides, and I can use Pythagorean theorem, and I can find this third side here. This third side here, if I 15 squared plus 20 squared equals x squared, I end up with x is 25. Trust me on that, I did the math earlier. So this 25 is now shared with this purple triangle in here. So now I have two sides of this triangle that I can then do Pythagorean theorem again, and I can solve for my missing side here. In this case, this is going to be my C. So it would be A squared plus 25 squared equals 65 squared. This is then going to be 60. Now, this is definitely not drawn to scale whatsoever. But if you notice, I wrote that this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So on the top, if you remember these rules, these two sides of the triangle are going to be the same. So 60 and 60. And then that hypotenuse is 60 times the square root of 2. Your task for the first day is to fill out our triangle man solve for all those missing sides, take a picture of it, and submit it on Google Classroom. Later this week, and if you want to get started with it uh, today, you need to create your own picture. It could be abstract art, something like this, or you could try to create an animal, or a person, or a uh, tree, something that speaks to you and do this same process. Create the right triangles and create the problems yourself. And then create an answer key that, that goes along with your picture. You're gonna be submitting your final project by the end of this week. Your final project will include a blank one, not filled in, and then your answer key. So two different things. Please 
email or ask if you have any questions. Thank you.